Texas crews have been working around the clock to restore power and clear streets where trees came crashing down. WLKY's Jamie Mays caught up with crews today, and she joins us live from the debris drop-off site on Hubbard's Lane. Jamie, how active has it been there today? Public Works says there's been a steady stream of people coming through to drop off trash, and while the community has been doing their part, the city says their crews have been too, working diligently to help those impacted by the storm. The Department of Public Works says their crews have been busy cleaning up roads after Friday's storm. The road and operations crews have been deployed to more than 275 calls for service and have completed all but about 25% of those calls. Anything that was not entangled in power lines, they were able to take care of thus far. Uh, so the, we're going, our crews are going back to try to, to address those, to clear those roadways that have power lines involvement. Those downed power lines are still impacting lg and &E customers like Ruth Reeser, who hasn't had electricity since Saturday. And she says being without power hasn't been easy. And filled my ice box because we've gotten our taxes. And I spent $900 on meat, filled my freezer up, and it's gone. lg and &E says crews are making progress. Since the storm hit, around 373,000 of their customers have been impacted. Now, about 88% of those customers have had power restored. During this storm, crews are responding to more than 3,200 downed wires and more than 650 broken poles. So there is, as part of the repair process, there's significant repair work being done. But there's thousands of downed wires. So we are uh, reacting to emergency situations and then we're starting to restore. So it just, it takes time to get to all the uh, problem spots. They're asking the community to be patient. Uh, we want our customers to know that this is an all hands on deck approach. Now, lg and &E says they're estimating a majority of their customers' power will be restored by tomorrow night. Reporting live, Jamie Mays, WLKY News.